I'm Ian Muir, one of the directors at Muir Walker and Pride Chartered Architects and Interior Designers. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a project at Balcomi Road in Crail. Um, this is a new house uh, for a Belgian client who approached us and said that they would like a fantastic uh, property uh, constructed on this site. The site itself is quite interesting when we take a cross section through it. We have the access road and then the verge and then it falls away and then we've got a bit of flat area and again it falls away to the practice range uh, below. Uh, on this side which is to the south side of the site we've got a bit of a verge again and then we've got the golf course which stretches probably for about uh, half a mile and then it falls away and then we've got the sea at this side. So it's a beautiful site. Now on the the only building on the site was an old Second World War vintage uh, brick property. Now there wasn't much left of it and it was pretty dilapidated but it was built on the flat section of the site. Now this gave us the opportunity to apply for planning permission for a new house and without this uh, building it would have been quite difficult to obtain uh, consent. But the planning and the housing and the countryside policy was quite supportive and we obtained planning permission for quite a large house. Um, the client's brief was for a six bedroom property and uh, obviously they wanted to take best advantage of the views so we decided to design an upside down house which meant that we put the living accommodation on the upper floor so if you look at the section here um, we demolished the existing building and we put decided to keep the bedrooms on the ground floor and build the living accommodation on the upper floor this meant we could get the fantastic views over to the north and to the south and towards the east, which is this way, towards the golf club house. So the challenge was to design something which was going to fit the site and be appropriate and meet the client's requirements. This is one of the technical drawings that was produced. This is the first floor plan, and this shows the arrangement of the living accommodation, which is about half a meter or so higher than the road level. So it shows the entrance area, and that's coming in um, into the main hall, which shows the staircase down to the lower level. To the left, we've got the inner hall, which leads to the master bedroom and ensuite area. And uh, off the main hall area is the small utility. And to the right, we've got the uh, rather splendid open plan kitchen dining living space. Uh, and that leads through into the lounge and the terrace on the outer side. Looking at the outside of the house, this is a view of the eastern gable with the sitting room sliding screen leading to the external terrace. And this is the main entrance door leading from the road. Looking at the property, uh, we've decided a palette of materials which is appropriate for the site. And it's a reflection of the agricultural uh, aesthetic of the buildings nearby and also the exposed nature of the site which required quite uh, robust materials and detailing. One of the entrances into the property leads directly through to the golf store and this is designed specifically for golfers to place their equipment after they've had a good round of golf. Moving past the golf store we enter the corridor on the ground floor which gives access off to a number of the bedrooms. So it's quite a light space and um, created nice ambience with wood finishes, nice lighting. This is the entrance, uh, ground floor entrance. Uh, and the house has been designed in a way that, if necessary, it can be let to two different groups of people. So we've got this sliding screen, which uh, is an acoustically uh, quality screen, and that can be closed off and the, the property divided up into two. This is the studio, the second kitchen living room for the whole house, or the main kitchen sitting room for the smaller unit if the property is subdivided. It's a comfortable, cosy size with great views, with access to its own outside terrace. The stairs leading up to the main living accommodation on the first floor are made of oak and have special golf ball lights. At the top of the stairs is the principal kitchen dining room. It's an open plan area with an attractive vaulted ceiling and roof lights. The views out of the golf course to the south and north are spectacular and the painted wooden kitchen gives the room a warm, clubby feel, ideal for relaxing after a hard day outside. The master bedroom is a calm and simple space, which reflects the contemporary Scottish style of the house. A freestanding wall subdivides the bedroom from the bathroom space behind, 
whilst built-in fitted wardrobes provide plenty storage space for visitors. The bathroom is finished in Italian porcelain tiles and a handmade vanity unit has been painted to complement the interior colour scheme. The bath is positioned for people to enjoy a long soak while admiring the view. The comfortable sitting room has direct access to the outside terrace via the large sliding doors. In addition to the underfloor heating, this room has an attractive wood burner, ideal for those chilly evenings. The wonderful views and golf are what this house is all about. A Muir Walker and Pride are delighted to have had the opportunity to create a building which responds to the site and most importantly to the client's aspirations. Oui, je pense, je, je pense que Muir Walker and Pride ont vraiment réussi un, un bijou, un bijou pour le Fife.